Hi, my name is Lawrence Mann and this is the Dell Precision 5530. You might have already seen me reviewing this on my last video. But I'm here to show you the full ins and out of a great 2-in-1 for digital artists like you on this today. Let's jump right in and take a look. Stick with me. Okay, so today I want to show you how good this is. I've been reviewing this now for a couple of weeks. Let's take a look at the specs and a quick draw test. A quick draw test. I say that, but what I mean is a long and detailed draw test of this. I've got, yeah, quite a big one. I'm not going to talk all the way through it, but, you know, I'll play some music. Let you guys relax and... Uh, see how good this is i'm gonna it's gonna be quite fast i'm playing this at a quite a quick rate if you want to see the long version then let me know in the comments below and i'll put up a slower version for you to actually see the high details basically for this draw test i found a really old and when i say really old i mean like 20 year old illustration that i did and basically yeah redid it well when i say redid it i i i went over the top of it to kind of recreate it a bit but it was a 20 year old illustration that I liked. So yeah. What is the Dell 5530? Well, I had its predecessor, which was the 5520, and I loved it immensely. It was my main computer for quite a while. It was absolutely brilliant, complete powerhouse, and it was touch enabled. This, however, the 5530 is not only touch enabled, but it's pen enabled as well, which is what makes it wonderful. And not only is it pen enabled, but because it's pen enabled, it also has this wonderful hinge, making it a true two in one. Brilliant. It's not a detachable like the Surface Book, but it has this lovely hinge system, which I personally think makes it all the better. Some detachables don't detach when the battery runs out or you have to wait a few seconds to detach it. But you saw how quickly there I just, you know, kind of flipped it over. And for me, that's all the better. The pen that comes with it is the Wacom e AES 2, which means, yeah, it has tilt. How cool is that? We love our Wacom OEM styluses. They are great on devices. They are brilliant. I love them a bit. Yes, it has a battery, but that battery will last you a very long time. You know, you'll forget it's battery operated, basically. Um, it's magnetized. There you go. This has a bit of weight to it. 4.36 pounds. That's because it's beefy. That's because it has serious, you know, power behind it. You know, it's got a good processor, it's got decent graphics in it. You want all that, you're going to have to handle a device with some weight to it. I have been testing this for the past couple of weeks. I've run it through its paces in Photoshop, through Painter, through Sketchable. I've done line tests through you. I've done uh, some work in Premiere. You know, I'm even edited my last video. You might have seen me using this in my last video if you're a serious subscriber to my channel. That was the review of the 3D Total Horse uh, Equine. If you're a posh person, you use posh words. Uh, drawing reference model. If you haven't seen that, then, you know, go watch it. It's cool. Not right now. Wait until you, after you've finished, you know, watching this. So, I've done quite a lot of work with this over the past couple of weeks you know it has to go back to Dell of course but I've been really really happy with this I've been pushing it to its limits this isn't even the top of the range version of this but this if I had the top of the range version of this I am secured in my knowledge that this would be a beast having owned the predecessor to this you know this alone is a beast so the top of the line version which is the one I would buy would surely be a beast so let's look at this. What is this in terms of specs? Well, you can get this in an i5 or an i7 Intel Core processor. Um, would I go for the i5? No, I, I never go for i5s. I'd go for the i7 Intel Core processor. That comes with eight megabytes cache and 4.10 gigahertz. That's pretty cool. You know, that's a nice, powerful processor. There's a lot of 
i9 is just starting to come out now if you if you really want that Dell's just announced a new latitude you know i would like to look at as well but that's not the same kind of device as this but i am still very interested in looking at that this has a radeon wx vega graphics card that's what makes this really really good for digital artists and creatives like us you know for doing that Premiere Pro work for doing work in Photoshop for doing work in Painter you'll be able to see you know how I can push this so that's what means that I haven't really seen any lag when doing large file work you know this image here isn't finished but this is 400 dpi and it's almost A2 in size so I've been really happy the fact that you know this might not have hundreds of layers but file size wise basic file size it's large all my work is and it hasn't grunted and and started grinding on me I haven't been hearing large fan noises in fact you know I can't hear anything coming out of this and it is on right now but you don't hear anything coming out of that and that is really really good in terms of a two-in-one device or a laptop or a tablet style device because a lot of them you know you do hear something or they get warm and this to me actually it's been on for the last few hours and they do get warm to the point where I've had to buy a heat testing device just to see how warm some of them actually get I've got an all-in-one over here which actually does get quite warm in a corner I've had to test other devices in the past because they they have a reputation for getting more it's just one of those things but this remains quiet and it remains cold which is absolutely brilliant because I know some of you have big concerns over that in terms of memory it has either 8 gigs 16 gigs or all the way up to 32 gigs of DDR4 RAM that's absolutely brilliant personally I would go all the way to 32 gigs of RAM again because I'm doing video editing but mainly because I'm doing work in Photoshop in Corel Painter I like to push it I just like to have that RAM because well you never know when you're gonna need it RAM is RAM the more the better it's just that simple in terms of display you can get the FHD 1080p display or you can get the optional 4k display which is very very nice now both of these are gloss there's no matte option unfortunately you know but that's what I seem to say in every review for everything ever I always want matte displays it's never gonna happen but they're nice displays I have the 4k one here and it's beautiful to be honest we're at the point now where all displays are pretty much beautiful if you see a bad one then there's seriously something wrong out there it is nice the colors are beautiful it comes you know I would like to say it comes out of the box accurate but this wasn't brand new when it came to me but I'm sure no one's really had a fiddle with it you know people just don't tend to do that I found this was good it was accurate so I'm pretty much happy with this and how it looks it is touch sensitive it is pen enabled and like I say the pen has tilt as well because it's a Wacom AES 2.0 stylus now the touch support on this is actually a 10 point touch system like the canvas is actually 20 points of touch but this screen obviously it's smaller is 10 points of touch most people won't care but yeah it means you can use 10 fingers at once on the screen here which is great um, some of you like musicians will actually care about that because it means you can use all 10 fingers on the screen at once for things like piano applications um, it's important to know for artists because you know how many shortcuts you're using and things like that on this kind of similar note the only downside I actually did find while using this device was palm rejection yeah the palm rejection was a little iffy but 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 that might have actually been down to me you'll notice in the draw test that my the the drawing will just scoot off to one side now and again but what this actually is is my hand will catch it and trigger a palm rejection nonsense remark 
and send it scooting off. And I think I realized why after I recorded the entire session. And what it is, is in Windows Ink, it had me down as a right-handed user because I didn't change it in the options. It's one of the things that I just never think about. If I'd have changed it to left-handed, that might not have happened. So, that faults on me, potentially. I don't know 100%. That was pretty much the only downside. But I thought I'd mention that when I mentioned the uh, 10 points of touch. Again, nothing else really to moan about in the complaints department. I'd like a stylus, I suppose, that wasn't straight up and down. You know, maybe redesign the stylus a bit. That's the Dell Premium Active Pen. That's what it's called, and it's a Bluetooth stylus. And it's it's been pretty good. So, moving on. Storage options. You get everything all the way from the very lowest, all the way up to two terabytes of PCIe SSD. Now, this is absolutely great, and it's exactly what I'd expect to see from such a powerful workstation. I would, of course, go for, I'd probably stick to a one terabyte just to cut down on the options and save a bit of money here. Now, two terabyte is absolutely brilliant. Do I need it? I save all my work off of my computer and onto my Drobo. In terms of ports and connections, you have two Thunderbolts. Now, that's absolutely brilliant for a device like this. Now, one of those Thunderbolts is actually the DC power in. Of course, you can use it as a standard Thunderbolt as well. But it does mean that when you need to plug in the 5530 that you lose that Thunderbolt. But you also have two USB-Cs as well. Obviously these all look identical, they're clearly marked, but they do look identical as ports. So two USB-Cs and two Thunderbolt 3s. But that's really, really good. Now there's no USB 3s. So on the device itself, yeah. It's all USB-C looking ports. So if you have lots of USB free ports, you're gonna to have to buy yourself some adapters. Now, luckily I already had a few of these. They're really cheap. They're only a couple of dollars or pounds on eBay or Amazon. So you can just pick yourself up a couple of these. I did that, um, you know, yonks ago when I got my Mobile Studio Pro. And back then they were about $8 a pop. But now they're only a couple of bucks and they're really easy to get hold of and if you're going to buy one of these then you just do that at the same time and they'll probably arrive before this does. Unless you get next day delivery. Anyway, anyway, anyway. There's also a headphone jack and a micro SD card slot as well. I've got a load of micro SD cards for all my cameras, for my phones, for other devices as well. So absolutely brilliant and I'm glad there's a headphone jack. We're starting to lose those on devices as well as on phones and it's really annoying because we all use headphone jacks and I hate wireless headphones, even though I've got a pair. Even though I don't use them for headphones, I use them for other things. I use it for my microphone. Stop taking away headphone jacks. It's annoying. Look and feel wise, it looks and feels pretty much like my old 5520. So the new 5530, I'm happy with it. Would I have liked an update? There's not much to update on this. I think maybe they could have chiseled the corners more, but then would it have only ended up looking like one of the HPs? I think it looks nice. It looks like a business device. I don't think they need to make this look like something from their Alienware connect collection. I don't think they need to try and look jazzy like something one of the other companies would do. It just has a certain business class look and feel to it, which in a way is nice. So yeah, it does what it says it's going to do and it performs just as its predecessor performed. And yeah, when I had the 5520, I only had one wish about it, and that was that it was pen enabled. That was it. And the 5530 is pen enabled. I kind of got my wish. 
I actually did say that to Dell at one point. I was like, I love the 5520, it's great. Can it have a pen? So there you go, <laughs> that's it. I, I mean, I, I wish I'd have made a video about that at the time because now I'd have been able to just go, boom, wish granted, and that would have been the shortest video in history. Just me going, got it, thanks Dell. It's a Windows 2-in-1 with a stylus, I'm happy. You can see here with the draw test that it works fantastically. It can handle video editing, it can handle drawing. There's not a lot to say. Have a great day. Let me know what you think in the comments below. Make sure to subscribe, make sure to hit like, because that really helps. Dell have been going crazy at CES this year, doing a lot of great monitors. All around, they've been doing some fantastic devices. Everybody's been doing some great devices. I've put out another couple of videos about devices that have been showcased at the uh, CES event. So make sure to subscribe, make sure to share the videos that you like, make sure to hit that like button, leave a comment. You know I always answer the comments. I'll speak to you later. I love hearing your insights. Have a great day. And be creative.